बिस्मिल्लाहिर्रहमानिर्रहीम अस्सलाम वालेकुम क्लास टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द फैक्टर्स इफेक्टिंग एंजाइम एक्टिविटी द की कॉन्सेप्ट्स अंडरलाइनिंग दिस टॉपिक आर व्हाट इज इफेक्ट ऑफ कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ एंजाइम words role of change of substrate concentration on the reaction which is catalyzed by certain enzyme and uh, what is enzyme kinetics what is role of line weaver bulk plot and uh, words effect of temperature for the optimum activity or the appropriate activity of certain enzyme number first is concentration of enzyme the first uh, and the foremost requirement for the reaction which is catalyzed by the enzyme Uh, is the contact between the enzyme and the substrate which is yielded as the prerequisite for the enzymatic activity it means that uh, if certain enzyme has to uh, activate the substrate and uh, it it will uh, in turn cause the activity uh, in such a way that uh, it catalyzes the conversion of this substrate into certain product and uh, the first requirement that uh, is uh, ne necessary there should be uh, uh, you can say comprehensive contact between the enzyme and the substrate and uh, if this contact uh, have not built then how the enzyme uh, is responsible for catalyzing the activity it will not be possible for a certain enzyme to catalyze the conversion of substrate into certain product unless or until it will bind with the substrate effectively as the concentration of enzyme is increased the velocity of reaction proportionality also increases up to certain limits in fact this property of enzyme is made use in determining the serum enzymes for the diagnosis of the certain diseases it means that after the onset of diseases if uh, we have to monitor that uh, what's the level of the certain enzyme in the serum or in the plasma then uh, the diagnostic laboratory will take the sample and uh, it will investigate the level of the certain enzyme which means that the level of the enzyme is responsible for the uh, onset or uh, is responsible for causing certain diseases it means that uh, enzyme should be present in the serum in the plasma in the blood uh, at the optimal level in the healthy individual and it means that up and low level of uh, this concentration uh, it must be resulted from the certain disease and uh, it will causes uh, it may cause uh, symptoms or uh, uh, for the time being it may not be causing uh, or the appearance of the uh, symptoms and uh, by using a known volume of the serum and keeping all other the factors like the substrate ph of the medium temperature at the optimum level the enzyme could be assayed in the laboratory it means that uh, enzyme uh, will undergo certain assays and uh, which are responsible for the for determining the level of uh, these enzyme in and the blood or in the serum of the individual it means that the concentration of enzyme uh, it should be monitored with the passage of time and uh, it's also responsible for the for causing the um, uh, certain diseases in the body here is the graphical representation between the enzyme concentration and the uh, velocity of the reaction which is catalyzed by the enzymatic Uh, activity as the result of uh, enzyme uh, or the role of the enzyme and uh, 
it it can be compute or uh, it it's shown over here that um, as the enzyme concentration increases the there is proportionality increase in the enzyme velocity it means that uh, rate or the velocity of the reaction uh, is proportionally increases as the concentration of the enzyme in the medium uh, will be increased and second factor is the concentration of the substrate which is responsible for monitoring or uh, for overall displaying the uh, enzymatic activity and increasing the substrate concentration it gradually increases the velocity of the enzyme uh, enzymatic reaction but uh, this increase in the velocity of the uh, enzymatic reaction it's uh, within the limit the range of the substrate levels it means that uh, if the substrate level or the concentration is uh, going to be increased with the passage of time uh, without uh, undergoing any cal calculation then there will be no effect uh, on the velocity of the enzymatic reaction after the certain levels or after the certain time it means that uh, there are limits or uh, substrate concentration is capped into uh, some limits or the boundaries and after that there will be no effect on the enzymatic reaction on its catalytic activity or the rate of the reaction or the in fact the conversion of the substrate into product and uh, if this uh, graph is uh, uh, plotted between the concentration of the substrate and the velocity of the reaction then the uh, hyperbola is obtained and it's called the rectangular hyperbola and uh, which is uh, obtained when the velocity is plotted uh, against the substrate concentration and uh, this curve has uh, three distinct phases or parts uh, it means that uh, it also represent the or show the um, three distinct phases of the reaction uh, which is observed in the graph it has three curves or you can say lines like uh, uh, a represent the linear fashion b curve and c is almost uh, showing the unchanged effect like here is the uh, effect of substrate concentration on the velocity of the reaction and uh, this the line is not the straight one but it's in the hyperbola a little bit you can say it's curved and uh, it's straight up to uh, you can say part a and a little bit curved in part or sections b and uh, it remained uh, unchanged after the point c it means that if substrate concentration is stepped on increasing after reaching at point c there will be no effect on the velocity of reaction which is catalyzed by enzyme and it means that at point c maximum velocity has been attained by using certain enzyme and uh, if we will do the half of the maximum velocity then this half of the maximum velocity if uh, it's going to be towards the x axis or the substrate concentration axis then it will meet the x axis on a point and uh, this point will be called as km and uh, the very explained description for the km importance of vmax half vmax and km uh, is uh, shown or uh, you can say you can observe uh, these parameters and changes on the upcoming slides and uh, what will be the order of the reaction in which the uh, substrate uh, on on certain substrate the enzyme is acting and when the velocity of reaction is almost proportional to the substrate concentration like first part or section a 
then substrate concentration is less than the km it means that the concentration of substrate will be low in comparison to the value of km and km is also the substrate concentration which is resulted from the half v max uh, value and the rate of reaction is said to be first order with respect to substrate it means that uh, if substrate concentration is increased then yes there is increase in the velocity of the reaction it means that uh, up to certain limits or up to certain time they will be uh, there will be uh, you can say the direct relationship between these two uh, uh, items or these two parameters or um, values and uh, when the substrate concentration is much greater than the km value then the rate of reaction is independent of substrate concentration then at this point the reaction is said to be zero order with respect to the substrate concentration like at point c on the curve and uh, if we will keep uh, the substrate concentration like uh, increases with the passage of time after 5 minutes after 10 minutes but uh, the reaction uh, the uh, on the speed of the reaction or the velocity of reaction there will be no effect it means that uh, if the substrate has been converted into product then up to certain limit yes it was converted and after that there will be no effect on the uh, rate of reaction or the velocity of reaction by increasing the substrate concentration and uh, in this scenario in this background the yes the reaction will be called as the zero order uh, reaction here are the enzyme kinetics and the km values when enzyme and substrate binds or combines together when uh, uh, on the active side of the enzyme substrate will show the secondary type of the forces and uh, uh, it will uh, become the part of the pocket or the uh, you can say the space where there are certain functional group where, where which are responsible or the amino acid sequences which are responsible for the binding of the substrate on the enzyme then uh, it will form an unstable enzyme substrate complex it means that if its stability is very high then uh, this complex which is the es enzyme substrate complex if it's very stable then it will not be converted into product it will be retained or remain as such and if it's very unstable then the conversion into product also it's very low one and uh, there may be a probability that es may be break down to give again the free enzyme and the free substrate and es may be converted into a, a free enzyme and the product it means that these kinetics or the the velocity constants uh, like k1 k2 and k3 they are responsible for the conversion of uh, uh, enzyme substrate complex into enzyme and product therefore they uh, these like k1 k2 and k3 they represent the velocity constant for the respective reactions which are indicated by arrows k1 is responsible for the uh, formation of enzyme substrate es complex velocity constant k2 is responsible for the breakdown of es complex back into enzyme and substrate whereas uh, velocity constant k3 is responsible for the conversion of enzyme substrate complex into enzyme and uh, product a free enzyme and the liberated product and km the michaelis menten constant is uh, given by the formula Uh, which is uh, which comes out from by taking the you can say the average uh, of overall these constant or uh, by taking the velocity constant summation on the numerator like it's the k2 plus k3 divided by k1 and uh, it comes out the km which is the michaelis menten constant and uh, in turn it is related to the substrate concentration
एंड के एम इज इक्वल टू के टू प्लस के थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई के एम एंड आफ्टर अप्लाइंग दर्टन मैथमेटिकल कैलकुलेशन द इक्वेशन कम आउट एज इक्वेशन वन विच इज वेलॉसिटी ऑफ द रिएक्शन विच इज मयर्ड एट दर्टन टाइम वी इज इक्वल टू वी मैथ्स substrate concentration divided by km plus substrate concentration v will be the measured velocity at certain time like after the 5 minutes or after 10 minutes as the reaction um occurred or uh, as, as the time passed uh, like uh, after starting the reaction which is uh, catalyzed by the enzyme and v max will be the maximum velocity which is uh, uh, obtained after using a certain enzyme for certain reaction and uh, definite a specific substrate and s will be the substrate concentration and uh, it will also be going to be changed with the passage of time and uh, km will be the michaelis momentum constant and uh, now it, the equation one is converted into uh, a very applicable equation and for that we have to do some um, you can say modifications and uh, let us assume that the measured velocity v is equal to half v max f after a certain time the measured velocity v is half of maximum velocity and uh, then the equation one may be substituted as like half v max instead of v we will put the half v max and the uh, rest of the equation is same it's the v max substrate concentration divided by km and substrate concentration with the plus sign only the cross multiplication is done over here and uh, thus taking the differences from the uh, two times substrate concentration minus one time it comes out km is equal to substrate concentration therefore the k stands for the constant and m stands for the michaelis and overall it's the km and uh, it uh, definitely it will depend on the substrate concentration when the velocity is uh, uh, half of the maximum velocity at a certain time which is uh, depicted in terms of the measured velocity and km or the michaelis momentum constant it is now defined as uh, in taking the concentrate you can say while considering the substrate concentration or uh, taking into Uh, the overall view of the substrate concentration in view of you can say substrate concentration and it's defined as the substrate concentration and uh, which is expressed in moles per liter to produce half of the maximum velocity in a certain reaction which is catalyzed by enzyme and uh, it indicates the ha that the half of the enzyme molecules that is 50% are bound with the substrate molecule when the substrate concentration is equal to km it means that uh, when substrate concentration is equal to km then half of the enzyme molecules are bound with the substrate molecules there are many molecules of the enzyme and uh, half of them 50% of them are responsible for keeping the uh, substrate on their active side and km value is a constant and uh, it's the characteristic feature or the property of a given enzyme and uh, it's comparable to the thumb impression like the for the signature of uh, any individual it means that the km value is also like the signature or thumb impression of certain enzyme which will not be matched to uh, with uh, to any other enzyme uh, in the metabolic system and it is representative 
for measuring the strength of ES complex. If ES complex strength or stability is very high, then ES complex will not shield the product and free enzyme easily. And uh, a low two conclusion can be drawn from here. A low KM value indicates a strong affinity between the enzyme and substrate. Whereas the high KM value reflects a weak affinity between enzyme and the substrate. And uh, for majority of the enzyme which is calculated from the experimental data, the KM values are in the range of 10 days to minus 5 to 10 days to minus 2 moles. Why moles? Because they are related to the substrate concentration. And uh, it may however be noted here that KM is not dependent on the concentration of enzyme, but all the time we are dealing with the KM and the substrate concentration. It means that it is independent of concentration of the enzyme, but yes, it will depend on the concentration of substrate on which the enzyme is acting and uh, ES complex formation is there and uh, ES complex will break down to give the free enzyme and the product. Next is the line weaver Berg double reciprocal plot which comes out from the KM and the uh, uh, Vmax equation and uh, for its determination like KM value, the substrate saturation curve which we have discussed uh, in the uh, uh, last slides, it's not the very accurate since Vmax is approached asymptomatically it means that it is a line that approaches a certain curve during its drawing, but it never touches. And therefore, by taking the reciprocal of equation one, a straight line graphical representation is obtained. And uh, we have seen a straight line curve after plotting like it was the equation number one and uh, when we will take its reciprocal it means that uh, denominator value become numerator and numerator become uh, denominator therefore that equation one will take the form reciprocal of velocity v which is measured at a certain time and uh, Denominator value becomes the Km plus substrate concentration as numerator and Vmax substrate concentration. And according to mathematical rule, the upper uh, part like Km plus substrate concentration, it can be segregated, separated in a sense that uh, this half part like Km divided by Vmax and substrate concentration and second half is substrate concentration divided by the whole denominator as such. Therefore, the reciprocal equation will be separated or segmented or you can say segregated in this form. And now after doing the simplifications like this substrate concentration will be cancelled out to give half Vmax and rest of the equation which is Km divided by Vmax substrate concentration will be left as such and therefore reciprocal of uh, measured velocity will be equal to uh, this equation and uh, now this equation is in fact uh, similar to the uh, straight line equation which is y is equal to ax plus b. And uh, if we will plot uh, this equation in a sense, then the substrate concentration and uh, one by V or the reciprocal of the velocity, then we will obtain a straight line. 
and uh, but in upcoming slide you will see that uh, this straight line will not pass through the origin so that there must be intercept and uh, hence the slope is equal to km by v max like km this part on y axis this part on x axis and uh, km divided by v max will be the slope and uh, half uh, reciprocal of v max will be the not the half but reciprocal of v max will be the uh, intercept and therefore it's much easier to calculate the km from the intercept on the x axis and uh, which will be in the uh, you can say the left hand side and therefore you can say in the negative region therefore it will be resulted as minus 1 by km and uh, further the double reciprocal plot is useful in understanding the effect of various inhibitions like uh, when the inhibitor binds to the active site of enzyme inhibitor may binds to the enzyme substrate complex or it may bind to the certain uh, region which may be other than the active site backbone skeleton of the uh, enzyme and here is this plot by line weaver double reciprocal plot reciprocal of substrate concentration reciprocal of velocity give the straight line but straight line will not pass through the origin but it will touch the y axis and if we will extra plot it it will touch the x axis on a certain point and it will result in the negative value and uh, this negative value will be the will be uh, taken as the uh, minus 1 by km and uh, this point is the intercept and uh, it's the uh, reciprocal of maximum velocity and uh, km by v max give the slope of this line third factor is the effect of temperature when the velocity of enzyme reaction increases with the increase in temperature but it's up to a maximum and uh, then declines and it means that certain temperature or up to certain temperature enzyme velocity is maximum yes with the increase of the temperature but after that it declines or low down therefore a bell shaped curve is usually obtained and the uh, temperature coefficient is q10 and uh, which is defined as the increase in the enzyme velocity when the temperature is increased by 10 degree it means that after increasing the 10 degree uh, in the temperature the effect on enzyme activity will be checked and for the majority of enzyme this q10 or the temperature co uh, coefficient is is true and uh, this coefficient Q10 is, uh, you can say, uh, experimented between the 0 degree centigrade and 40 degree centigrade. It means that between these two limits. And increasing the temperature results in the uh, higher activation energy of the molecules and uh, more molecular collisions between the enzyme and substrate. And uh, when there is more molecular collisions between the enzyme and the substrate because of rise of the temperature, that uh, it means that uh, the interaction or the you can say uh, relationship between the enzyme and substrate it will become stronger or there is more probability that uh, yes enzyme uh, on the active side of enzyme the substrate will be attached, and therefore the interaction for the reaction. Uh, to proceed more faster but for this rise in the temperature uh, there are certain limits because the uh, enzyme are proteinous in nature and their uh, protein skeleton is uh, very uh, sensitive for the temperature 
and here is the curve for the rise in temperature and effect on enzyme velocity and for it the optimum temperature is 40 degree at which the maximum velocity is attained by the rise of temperature and uh, for most of the enzyme it is shown that this optimum temperature is between this region like 35 to 40 degree centigrade and after it for after 40 degree centigrade if the temperature is going to or the cap on increasing like 50 60 and so on then there will be uh, not increase in the enzyme velocity but it will decline very rapidly it means that velocity of enzyme reaction will be low down and the binding between the substrate and the enzyme will be weaker one but uh, there are few enzymes like dna polymerase muscle adenylate kinase which are still active even at 100 which is very high temperature up to 100 degrees centigrade they are still active and behave as enzyme and catalyze the, their respective reaction and it's also uh, have uh, been the observation or it's uh, comes out from the experimentation that uh, some plant enzymes like urease have optimum activity around the 60 degree centigrade instead of uh, the 35 to 40 degree centigrade and this may be due to the very stable structure of enzyme urease and uh, its conformation and in general when the enzymes are exposed to the temperature above 50 degree centigrade the denaturation occurs and which lead to the dearrangement or the breakdown in the native or the tertiary structure of the protein and because enzymes are proteinous in nature in me it means that yes enzymes also bear the tertiary structure and by the rise of temperature the uh, this tertiary structure become uh, you can say very uh, haphazard and therefore the active sites at the active site it means it means that there may be loss of uh, arrangement or the conformation of amino acid sequences at the active site of the enzyme as well therefore when the active site lost its identity or integrity or you can say uh, when uh, the active site don't have the propagation or the uh, amino acid sequences which are responsible for the uh, binding of the substrate to the enzyme and therefore uh, by the rise of temperature denaturation occurs and there will be lost or lowering of enzymatic activity and the majority of enzymes become inactive at high temperature like uh, above 70 degree centigrade it means that for uh, enzymatic activity the optimum temperature is between the 35 to degrees 40 degrees centigrade which is no doubt the uh, metabolic temperature or the body temperature of uh, healthy individual as well it's for today lecture and uh, for assignment uh, search five enzymes that functions very well uh, below 35 degrees centigrade and five others which work in a good way above 50 degrees centigrade this enzyme may be present in the marine organisms, animals, plants. They may be present in, uh, you can say, certain other plants uh, of the deserts or in animals. Uh, make the, the, you can say, make the two tables and uh, make a list of these enzyme and uh, write their correct names. Best wishes and Allah Hafiz. Even if they show in Qatar.